Good afternoon, everyone. How are you? Welcome to the introduction to Chinese musical instrument lecture. Today, Ms. Wu will do a brief introduction for pipa, a classical Chinese musical instrument. And Ms. Wu has over 25 years of teaching pipa music experience. Ms. Wu also published a pipa instrumental book titled Pipa Method for Beginner. The book was published in Southern China. And in the book, she uses new concepts to simplify the complicated pipa technique and use modern staff notation. Now let's welcome Ms. Wu to give us the lecture. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Bao Rong. I'm happy to be here today. I would like to say thank you for your interest in pipa music. This is a pipa. Pipa has 2,000 years of history and much love by people in China. Can you see that Pipa has four strings? Before we play this instrument, we have to put on the artificial nails on our right hand fingers. Can you see my fingers? The fun, this we call the fun panel. The fun panel made of sycamore wood. Look at the back panel. It's made of mahogany or rosewood. The pipa is kind of heavy than you talk. Average about 10 pounds. 10 pounds. I started to learn this instrument at the age of 11. I can say that the instrument has accompanied me through decades of my life. Before I talk more about the instrument, I will play two pieces of pipa music for you first. Actually, it's a video which I record two days ago. The name of the first piece called Spring River on Moonless Night. This is one of the most famous traditional Chinese music piece. The music depicts in the evening of spring, people boating, singing, enjoying the music on the ferry boat under the beautiful moonless night. Let me share the screen and please enjoy the music. Just a second. <laughs> I need to sharing. Oh yeah, what's over there? Okay, please enjoy the music. Thank you.
Thank you. The second piece called Desert Sunset. The music depicts the beautiful orange red sunset and the desert plants in the sun have a strong vitality. Please enjoy the music. Thank you. Do you like my music? If you like, give me a thumb up. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay. Um, as I told you in the beginning, the pipa has a long history in China. 2,000 years ago, the pipa was introduced to China from Central Asia. We do not know exactly which country it comes from. However, we know that the pipa was introduced to China along the ancient Silk Road, traveling from the middle of Asia. I think everybody know about the Silk Road the Silk Road was the trade route used by ancient Chinese people exchange goods and culture with other countries. After 
the instrument was introduced to China. Pipa was much loved by the royal court. The instrument combined with the local music and became a lead instrument in the royal court music. From there, it developed and grew in China. Let me show you some Chinese ancient pictures. It can help us understand better how the instrument developed in ancient. Let me share the screen first. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I need to move it a little bit to this side. This one, that is the ancient pipa. Okay, please look at these pictures. These are stone statues. They were unearthed from China. The artifice depicts a loyal, a loyal court band, a music band from the Sui Dynasty. The Sui Dynasty is about um, 1,500 years from today. Please look at this. The two instruments in front are pipas. This picture shows that the earliest pipa was held in horizontal position and play with a piece of wood. Can you see the right hand is holding a piece of wood? The next picture you can see more clear. We can see that the pipa was lead instruments in the music group right here. So, is you ready to see the next picture? Okay, this painting was from the early Tang Dynasty. After the Sui Dynasty, it was the Tang Dynasty. We can see that there were three pipa in front. This is the king. This is a queen. These two people serve some kind of food or some drink for the king and queen. We still see that the instruments praying, pressure, and praying method was similar to the Sui Dynasty, holding in a horizontal position and play with a piece of wood, you can see the very clear right here, the right hand holding a piece of wood. So, maybe this is a, I don't know what event. <laughs> okay, so are you ready to see the next pictures? Okay. Okay. This picture looks different. What different? There were more musicians in the band, right? This is a Gu Qing, Pi Pa still in front. Uh, Kong Ho, Sheng, and the Guan Zi. This is called Di Zi. This one holding a size kind of like a percussion. She was uh, playing a drum. Yeah, it's a more different type of instrument play together. Right. In this picture, all the instruments, except a pipa, they originated in China. 
all this Guqing, all this originated in China, except for Pipa. Okay, so this one, we see that mm, the music band is much twice bigger than Sui Dynasty. So the next picture, I'm going to show you. This picture has more improvement can we see the difference between this painting and the previous teachers? Let me tell you that. First, the people in the picture, they are common people. They do not belong to royalty. Look at the people prayer. Her dress like a common lady. The environment does not in the royal palace. Why? Look at the table. Look at this cup and the bowl. Nothing fancy, nothing very special. This kid has a apron on. Yeah. The 100% not belong to the royal family. We know that before, in the early Tang Dynasty, the pipa was only used in the royal court band. But this picture shows that pipa spread into a folk musical instrument. This is a very important development. Second, look at her. People began holding pipa near upright position. This two develop is really, really amazing in 1,300 years ago. Okay, so let me show you next pictures. This is the Tang Dynasty mural from Dunhuang Cave in China. This mural tells us that in the middle of the Tang Dynasty, people gradually use fingers to play the instrument instead of a piece of wood. Look at her. You cannot find a piece of wood holding in the right hand. This, she used the fingers to pluck the string. That is a very big development. Show you this. This picture is the same. This picture is the same too. See, you can see it but more. The hand, the finger is touching the, the, the strings. So, let me make uh, like a summary from above all these ancient pictures. We can say that Pipa had a great development in the Tang Dynasty. Pipa from a royal court musical instrument that became a popular for musical instrument. Second, people started doing vertical position. The vertical position gives the left hand more freedom and allows for faster playing. That's a great development. Third, graduated to use fingers to play the instrument instead of a piece of wood. It improved the right hand playing techniques and enriched the instruments expressively. There were still many discussion, um, this question about the pipa in the Tang Dynasty 
the Tang Dynasty's poems and the literatures. But today, I cannot show you all this because of the time. So uh, the next, um, I'm going to uh, show you, please enjoy some performance uh, by my students in Tucson. The first, let me see, let me share that. Okay. okay. The first performer, her name is uh, Li Yue, open string paralysis. She started to learn the pipa in September last month, but she did very well. Second performer is a 10 years old Bianca. She has been learning pipa for three semesters in Tucson Chinese school. She will perform a piece of a Taiwan folk song, selling rice balls. Please enjoy the music. Okay, so let me see. It's a second. So, the next performer is Melissa. Melissa is 12 years old. She has been learning the instrument for four semesters in Tucson Chinese School. She is going to play a Chinese folk song, Nan Li Wan. Thank you. 
Thank you, Melissa. So the next performance is a pipa ensemble. So they're going to play the piece called Butterfly Dance. When they perform this ensemble, um, half of the students only start, uh, studied for six months, other half maybe only a few weeks. It was uh, one year ago. Why I, uh, uh, I show the one year ago video? Because the virus, uh, we did not practicing, played the music together for a long time, for a while, 10 months, no, nine months already. Yeah, that's why. So mm -hmm. their age, Range is kind of wide from from forty years old, the younger one to the younger one is six years old. <laughs> okay, please enjoy the music. Thank you. Okay, let me see. Let me share the next one. The next one is so uh, they perform at Zoom on January this year. Four season. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> okay, let me see. Okay, look at this. Mm -hmm. Compare compare the Tang Dynasty Pipa, the modern Pipa has wider music range. Look at this is from the ancient Pipa. They only have a couple notes. The Pipa right here is more than a lot. So all this is the nose, mm -hmm. and also the white white. Also has a full command scale. It can be played in any keys. It has much better the production and much better sound quality because the material is different. The good material can make the better sound quality. Mm -hmm. So the next piece I'm going to show you, let me see, uh, the last pipa ensemble um, adapt from Russian composer. His name is, let me see, uh, Ryesky Kowsko, I think so. 
uh -huh. um, from his uh, Fighting of the Bumblebee, performed by Singapore National Conservatory of Music. They are professional mm, music school students. Please enjoy the music. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I need to stop the. I need to stop the. Okay. So, how do you like the pipa music? <laughs> do you enjoy the music today? I'm going to say thank you for taking the time to participate in today's online events. Thank you again and have a great weekend. If you have any question, and you can email to me or email to the center. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Happy Halloween. <laughs> here are the uh, website you can register, or, and here are the email you can send it to. Hey, okay. happy Halloween. Bye, thank you, Miss Wu. Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.